It's fight night in Parker, Arizona. Circle around and take his back. In front of an electrified crowd, kids as young as six do battle in a cave. Hey, back up, back up, back up. This is Youth Pancration, a pint-sized version of mixed martial arts. Go, go, Recently banned in California, this fast-growing sport is attracting plenty of controversy. But kids like Regina, the Black Widow Awana, can't see what all the fuss is about. Fighting out of the corner, jiu-jitsu fighter, a national pancreation champion, loves to play with her dolls. From Riverside to Michigan, please welcome the Black Widow, Regina Awana! The Black Widow? Yeah, absolutely. In the week before the fight, I catch up with Regina at her home in Riverside, California. And you looking forward to fighting on Friday night? Yeah. Yeah? Are you going to win? Maybe. What do you think about, like, do you think about winning more or do you think about losing more? Um, winning more. Is it this one? Yeah, that one's it. Yeah. Regina's father, Ricky, and mother, Julia, have seen their daughter quickly become a pancreation pin-up. It all began two years ago when Regina was bullied. Um, we were at a party and uh, she got slapped by a boy. And they just, I had to get her to do something to be able to defend herself. That's the best decision I made to get her to do that. I'm going to take him down, Mama. Come Regina. Kids MMA is fast and furious. Kicks, punches and knees are all allowed, with the exception of strikes to the head. Fights are won by points or submission. The Black Widow's trademark move, the armbar, when an opponent's elbow is hyperextended until they submit what's known as tapping out. At first, I wasn't really happy about it. I, I didn't agree with this decision. I wanted her to go, you know, to dance class or something different. I didn't want her to be like a tomboy. What do you think of the nickname? The Black Widow? She likes it. So at first, I was like, why the Black Widow? <laughs> why not Princess something? You know. <laughs> so, guys, remember, punch like you're fighting, kick like you're fighting, even though it's grandma. Richard Array is Regina's coach. He runs Riverside Submission, one of over 30,000 MMA schools now operating across the country. She's so small, she comes out like a little girl. She's like, you know, she's that little girl, like, oh, you're gonna beat that little girl. And then all of a sudden, boom, you guys are going home puzzled because she just tapped your boy out. During summer break, Regina and her teammates will train nearly all day, every day. It's a tough regime covering Pancration's many disciplines, including wrestling, jiu-jitsu, and kickboxing. Today, she's honing her skills by practicing one-handed. Come on, Gina. Come on, Mario. There's 30 seconds left, and you're down by 10 points. There's no reason why to quit on me. Don't quit on me. You can still finish the fight. It only takes a second to tap, and we just always got to keep going. You're fighting for a belt, dude. He's working hard right now. You need to work harder. Go. Amongst the busy highways in nearby San Bernardino, on, former MMA fighter Chris oh, Munzo is pushing his group of kids see, to their limits. Go. Hard, 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 go, go, go! Put those knees up high. Last one who walked through the door does 50 push-ups. Here, nobody's black, nobody's white. I tell them when you walk on the mat, you're not a girl, you're not a boy, you're not seven, you're not 12, you're a fighter. One of those fighters, his own son, seven-year-old Evan. Choke his neck, choke him right there. Right now. There's nothing that I love more in this world than my son, period. There's nothing I wouldn't do for him. However, he chooses to wrestle. He chooses to be a fighter. I'm not going to take that away from him. He can do it. Does that mean I don't love my son because he's in there with the potential to get injured? No, I love my son more than anything, and nothing will ever take that away. It's going to hurt. You got to throw, baby. Let's go. Then wrestle. If you don't like it, you better wrestle. Let's go. The hardest things that you can put somebody through. You have to put them through that in order for them to not quit when they're in there. Because they're not trying to hurt each other in there. These kids really aren't. But they are trying to win. They're not too young though for that kind of, I don't know, that kind of attitude? That's a good question. You know, 
sometimes I wonder. It's like I told one of the kids today. I didn't go to your house and knock on your door and say, hey, come join my fight team. They came to me and said, I want to do this. Evan is sparring with the Black Widow's next opponent, six-year-old Duran Johnson, who she'll meet in just a few days' time. The God is the Black Widow's way, man. I have to pass the web. Like, I'm like, I'm, I'm the bug, she's the spider. So I have to get through the web without getting in the web. Regina Awana, the Black Widow, is a cute little petite girl that will rip your arm off and take it home with her. She beats up anybody that comes near her, you know, on the mat. But then again, when she's off the mat, she's playing with her dolls and joking around and playing like a little girl. Back home, I find Regina rapping along to Eminem. She takes me on a tour of her bedroom to show me some of her paintings. Very nice. Her dolls. This one's um, her mom. This one's um, this Ariel. All under the gaze of her favourite pop star. I can't help but notice uh, Justin Bieber over here. What do you like about him? His hair and what he wears and the songs. Do you think like a lot of the boys, they think like you're small, you're cute, you wear pink, and then they kind of, they, they take you lightly? Um, yeah, little. How does that make you feel? Mad. That makes you feel mad, how come? Because I want, them, I want everybody to go hard on me. While there are probably many, many boys that she can beat, at some point, whether it now or be later, she'll run into a boy she can't beat. Andy Foster is a former mixed martial arts fighter turned staunch critic. As California Athletic Commissioner, he banned youth pancration tournaments in the state after seeing a YouTube video of a girl getting punched in the head. I don't think children are mature enough to understand that perhaps there's th these activities that they're doing could harm them for life. My solution for the parents, instead of living vicariously through their children, would be just to sign up and get in the ring themselves. Spin to your right, go, he's got nothing right now. Over three million American kids under the age of 13 reportedly take part in some form of MMA. And that's largely down to the phenomenal success of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. UFC fighters like Anderson Silva and Chris Weidman have helped make MMA one of the fastest growing sports in the world. It's huge, man. I'm up in Times Square right now. I mean, I don't think it gets any bigger and it's, it's only going to get bigger. And Chris Weidman sees no problem with kids trying to emulate their idols in the cage. As long as they have it safe. It's all about safety. Yeah, I don't think they should be getting pounded in the head every two seconds, but uh, other than that, I think it's good. Yeah, 100%. Do you see kids coming in with injuries from mixed martial arts? I do. Um, the injuries we see from that tend to be more um, hand, upper extremity in injuries, uh, either sprains or, you know, from falls or pulls. Pediatric sports doctor Heather Gillespie from the University of California says she sees far more injuries from sports like football or skateboarding, but she's concerned with the fundamental concept of pancreation. The intent is to hit someone, injure someone, take them down, you know, in various ways. And there is a skill to that, but I think as opposed to other sports where the intent is to score a goal or, you know, it's not, the intent is not to hurt someone else. At some level, our role as, you know, physicians, parents, legislators is, is to protect our kids um, from the decisions that they're not old enough to make. Ricky believes the risks are being blown out of proportion and says the sport is a chance for his daughter to have a better future. Something's going to happen good for her. It already is, you know, at such a young age. There ain't and what I make. I can't get her to college. On a low income, the family struggles to pay entry fees and travel costs for their daughter's competitions. The ban on the sport in California means they have to travel interstate for every one of her fights. Kind of kicked, kept me on my toes 
strangers see you and they're like, <laughs> they must think, this guy's pretty tough, he's got a spider. <laughs> they either think that or think I'm crazy because they don't know what I'm doing it for. <laughs> Haircuts complete, it's time to finally hit the road. I'm about to cross the border from California, heading to a place called Parker, Arizona. From Riverside, it's about a four hour journey. It certainly is a long way to go just so your kids can compete. In this sport, win or lose, it could be over in a matter of seconds. At the Blue Water Casino, the young fighters go through their pre-fight ritual. 49.8 for Manzo. There are promotional style stare downs. How about a big hand for these two? Doctors health checks. Uh, uh, and a stern safety warning from the United States Fight League president, John Frank. So anything that you would not do in a hard, hard practice, you don't do in here. Because you're not going to hurt your opponent. That's not what pancreation is. So you don't win by beating up your opponent. You don't, you don't give anybody beat downs. You can't win by knockout. You can't win that way. The way you win is by scoring points. Then as the sun sets in 51 degree Arizona heat outside, it's finally fight time. Dressed as a ninja, Evan enters the cage. We love Bruce Lee movies and why not? Please welcome Evan, the Evanator, Monzo. <laughs> the fight is close. Father, trainer, and biggest fan Chris urges Evan on. Hey, Evan, fun. Go out there and have a good time, huh? The fight goes the distance, but after two three-minute rounds, Evan is judged the winner on points. I'm very proud of the way he fought, but I'm just proud of him in general. He was a fighter, you know, so I'm proud of anybody in, in his opponent or anybody, especially kids with the kind of courage to step in there because your average man can't do what these little kids do. Nearly three hours of pancration showcases an incredible amount of technical skill, respect and sportsmanship, passionate and proud parents, and yes, just a few tears. Then, late into the night, it's time for Regina and Duran to enter the cage. It doesn't take long for the Black Widow to hit the canvas and snare her opponent. After a four hour journey, the fight lasts a mere 20 seconds. Announcing your winner by armbar submission, the Black Widow, Regina Oona. How do you feel? That was awesome. <laughs> Makes the ride a little more fun, huh? You go home and play with those dolls now? Yeah. All right, congratulations, honey. Good job, Gia! A tearful Durand is a reminder that whether stage or cage, performance at such a young age is demanding. Meanwhile, the Black Widow is wrapped in a web of familiar praise, ready for bed and already dreaming of her next opponent. That is girl. <laughs>